Coach Izzy, show me that. Show me that shirt. <laughs> That's a great shirt. But here we are, Dvorak 2015. Well, first things first. Iron Man, I didn't get to talk to you. I was bummed out. But you had a hack of an Iron Man. You had some, I mean, I was just impressed with everything I saw. Those lower weights, 145 and below, was just like lights out for you guys. But who'd you end up with, two champs? Yeah, two champs. Uh, two champs, a third. And then uh, two champs, a third, a second, and an eighth. I was impressed, Coach. Thank you. I think you guys, is that your highest finish ever in school history? I think so. Yeah, so, I think so. You finished fourth? Fourth, yep. Fourth. I was really impressed. You're 13-time state champs here in the state of Illinois. I'm always impressed with the product I see on the mat. But Dvorak, you're finishing third here. Okay. Uh, you know, Mount Carmel, they put together a really nice tournament, 12 placers for them. What do you guys think the differences between here and Iron Man from your team? Because you know, how many finalists you got today? Uh, we have four guys in the finals. Four guys in the finals. Uh, we had three guys in the finals at the Iron Man. You know, the depth here is just a little bit different than the Iron Man, you know. Uh, the, the Iron Man is second to none. There's no better tournament. Uh, you know, I've heard there's other better tournaments. Uh, we tried to go to Doc uh, Buchanan in uh, California, but they moved us to the Chicago Catholic League and took away one of our tournament options. So um, other than that, you know, the power, the, the power, they say that's good too, but the Dvorak is the toughest tournament in Illinois. Um, it's a great tournament. You know, I think that the difference with our team is here and the Dvorak, uh, the Iron Man is, some of our other guys got to win some matches, which is real cool. Our 220 got to win, you know, our 45, 52, those guys are in there, they're battling. You know, our 120 got to win, you know, we're at the Ironman, it's, it's hard for some, those guys to get, you know, some wins. I look at your schedule and I'm like, how does this guy, is he made of mercury? Do they take pieces of him and take it different places? How can you be so many different places in such a little time? I think you, were you in Australia? Was that where you were yeah. for, for so, the home, so the home was, upset? Yeah, so it was a pretty unique experience. I have the best coaching staff in the world. You know, Justin Perch, Mikey Benefield, Tom Wilming. Uh, you know, we, we got the guys, we got the staff. Uh, Grandpa Ferris, Mr. Paul Ferris. We got a new member, Coach Didi's on our staff now. So it's great, you know, the first week of the season, I missed it. I was in Australia for the Holly Holm fight, and it was awesome. Yeah, I travel a lot. You know, I uh, you know, I sleep on the planes, and uh, you know, it, that's just part of the battle here. When I was a young boy, I had some, uh, you know, some lifestyle issues, and um, I spent a lot of time not working as hard as I should, so I'm making it up, and now's the time to make it up. You know, just, I literally work every day, uh, you know, 12 hours a day. There's no events or buts about it. I'm very, very busy, but I embrace it. I embrace the role because, you know, I want to live the life that my boys see. You know, I want to be the guy that doesn't, don't, don't, uh, don't do as I say and not as I do. You know, that type of, however that saying goes, you know, I, I want to be the guy that, you know, hey, do it as he does. He can do it as he says, you know, work your ass off and uh, just be a good person. So that's where I'm at. You know, I, uh, what's cool about right now is I, I, uh, Traveling, you know, I'm traveling, you know, uh, right now John Jones isn't fighting, Holly Holm isn't fighting, uh, yeah, your Rodriguez is not fighting also, those are my three main guys and now Anthony Pettis, so um, it's cool that they're not fighting, which gives me a great time to spend all my time here at Montini Catholic High School, and uh, I've been the head wrestling coach for six years, and you know, I'm not leaving, this is what I love to do, you know, no matter what, uh, no matter what anybody's offered me, I've been offered several times to leave, uh, offered several uh, business adventures, uh, with fighting, without fighting, sales, a bunch of other things, you know, that I've turned them all down, you know, I, I ain't gonna leave Illinois, I'm not gonna leave, uh, I'm not gonna leave the team that I've built from scratch, you know, I basically started a team from nothing, I've started this Easy Style brand from nothing, and um, that's it, we're gonna keep climbing and keep building. Alright, I, I gotta apologize to Real Woods. It's not real. It's real. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, real. I, I messed that up. That's all good. You know what? Real's a cool guy, man. It was funny because, uh, you know, some of some of our friends, our family friends, were like, what are they doing? What are they doing? I go, hey, man, who cares? As long as they're talking about us, that's what we like, you know? <laughs> and uh, as long as Real's on the big stage and Real's kicking butt, you know, you guys can call him whatever you want. He doesn't mind it. He, he loves it. Coach, I don't know. Is what's the status of Izzy Style? Is it still a club? Oh, yeah, we're rolling right now. We're, we're rolling. We are, uh, like I said in my last interview, we have about uh, we have two Izzy Style youth clubs now. We have about 50 members in our uh, Villa Park, lo I mean Addison location, and now we're helping out the St. Charles East, St. Charles East youth wrestling club so now we've taken over their curriculum and brought our coaches there so you're to, growing 
growing. Oh yeah, it's not over. Is, is Clay doing anything with that? You know what Clay Weed is doing? His own little kids club up in Johnsburg. Okay. You know the local type of stuff. You know we run more of a higher level wrestling school. You know not just for fun, man. We're in there to win and have fun. You know not just about just uh, games and things like that. And Clay Weed, I think eventually his team, hopefully up north with uh, Jared Carlin and those guys, will turn into something. But right now it's just you know fun and getting these kids to love wrestling and things like that. When okay, first off, you look like a genius in the Holly Home thing. I gotta tell you that. Uh, I was like, guy's a it genius. Was, it was Coach Winkle John and Coach Greg Jackson. Those guys are my brothers, and uh, it's been a great time working with them. They're they, they are my mentors, so it's like so crazy. Most people, anything they do, they gotta start off somewhere else, you know. So like, if whatever you do, you get to start off, and and you have to work your way up to access the great coaches, the great ideas, the great athletes. I was blessed. First day at MMA training, bam. Greg Jackson on my left, Coach Winkle John on my right, <laughs> boom, you know, so I didn't learn junk fighting, I didn't learn bad technique, I got to truly learn the fight game, the mixed martial arts, the game from the best coaches in the world, Coach Greg Jackson and Coach Winkle John, so it was, it, it's just been an amazing thing, you know, and I mean, I, you know, sure, I, I, if guys want to give me credit for Holly's win, I'll take it, you know, it was a lot of work, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, it was a lot of prep, a lot of, a lot of uh, studying, a lot of focusing, a lot of spending time with Holly, you know, but she deserves all the credit, Coach Mike, Coach Winkle John, and uh, Coach Greg do, but yeah, it was awesome, she executed the game plan, we knew, we knew, <laughs> We knew uh, we knew what she had to do to win, you know, and um, she stuck to the game plan. You know, there's a lot of fighters out there. You, you tell them, you know, one, two, leg kick, you know, and then they go one, two, you know, Head kick. three. You yeah, know? yeah. Like, Dude, come on, what are you doing, guy? You know, and, oh, I see it different than you coaches. You don't know what it's like to be in there. You know, Holly doesn't think like that. She truly believes in her coaches. She truly isn't gonna second guess it. Coach Winkle John says, yo, I need you to throw a head kick. She doesn't go, well, I don't see it. Or it might not be there. That's not Holly Holm. She's, boom, <laughs> she's you. throwing it, you yeah. know? And that's the best part about training a person like Holly Holm. You know, she will make her coaches look good because she's awesome. <laughs> John Jones, when will we see him next? Man. I know you can't speak for John, but. I'll speak for John. No, I'm just teasing. I don't really like to talk about John, but John's my brother. I spend so much time with him. I talk to him on the phone weekly. He, I love him. He's a cool dude, but he's working hard. He's focused, man. He's jacked. He's strong. April, April 23rd, they're April, saying, okay. you know, they don't know when. When's you your know. training camp with him? When do you, do you have an idea um, on that no, yet? You know, John, right now, we had a team meeting two weeks ago. I was in Albuquerque. I flew down there, and we had a coaches meeting, so we had all our coaches together, talked about John's, you know, what is up, what his next focus is, what is our, we watched film together, we picked DC apart again, you know, watched his fight against DC, really focused on areas to improve, and then other things we focused on are areas to dominate him even more. You know, John Jones isn't playing around when he says he's going to take down Daniel Gormier. You know, we told people he was going to do that. Now, I'm not here bragging about it, but the show's going to begin again here soon. John Jones is coming back. All right. Finals are coming up here. You got anything else for me? You know, just, man, flow wrestling's awesome. You know, it's it's truly, it's truly become something magical because uh, you have so many people that, that really can access the sport and learn, learn the sport and see high-level wrestling. Not only that, I remember growing up, you had to get those DV, the, the, the VHS that you had to borrow from your friend that he took the big old camera to Iran and got maybe a dual meter. You had to steal it from another guy. You know, those days are over, man. You want to watch the baddest wrestlers in the world? Grab a pop, sit down, order some pizza, put on Flow Wrestling, baby, and that's the way to do it. You know, Flow Wrestling is just amazing, and I can't thank you guys enough for all the things you do. I appreciate the support you guys give me and my team, and um, you know, the state of Illinois wrestling, it's great you guys are here at the Dvorak. There's a lot of great teams here, and um, you know, it's just, it, life is good. Life is very good, and um, I'm very excited. I, I, I didn't realize how awesome 2015 was until you kind of get up, get some, those things on Facebook, check out your year in review type of stuff, and, and you see it, and you're like, holy cow. And you know, it only motivates me. 2016, we're coming, baby, <laughs> easy style.